he was one of the most legendary boxers in history, easily knocking out opponent after opponent. But when he stepped into the ring with other boxing legends, their fights would become brutal and often ending in a shocking knockout. Today, we'll be taking a look at Tyson's top five fights against other boxing legends, starting off with the epic showdown in 1988, where a 37-year-old Larry Holmes took on a prime Mike Tyson. Not wanting to be humiliated, Holmes first rejected the fight, but when he saw the $3 million paycheck, he instantly accepted. And so the hype began. Tyson was in his prime. He was undefeated at the time and was the most feared man in boxing. When both fighters stepped into the ring, each looked confident, but Holmes kind of looked like he knew deep down he was in trouble. Just before the fight started, Muhammad Ali entered the ring and Tyson promised he'd get his revenge. Because you see, eight years earlier, Holmes actually defeated Ali and made him look weak. So Tyson, being a huge fan of Ali, would promise to win the fight. Right away, it looked like the fight everyone had expected, Tyson pressing hard and Holmes struggling to keep up. In the first round, Tyson landed multiple combinations on Holmes, and again in round two and round three. The energy in the stadium is so intense, you can't even hear yourself think. But then, something unexpected happened. Larry Holmes took control at the start of round four, hitting multiple left jabs, but Tyson, quick to learn, began dodging them and was able to continue his attack. And then, in the middle of round four, Holmes is knocked down for the first time in the fight, a moment that caused shock in the audience. And it didn't end there because moments after the first knockdown, there came a second one. It was brutal, but Holmes with pure courage went on. Tyson lashed out his final attack, jabbing, hooking, and trying everything possible. Until finally, Holmes dropped for the third and final time instantly ending the fight. But Larry's loss wasn't actually that humiliating, at least not if you compare it with the Michael Spinks fight, which surprisingly ended in 91 seconds. Michael was the son of Leon Spinks, the boxer notorious for defeating Muhammad Ali. Now, the young Michael Spinks was making his name known in the boxing world. He was undefeated and to many was the legitimate heavyweight champion. But so was Tyson. And when the two agreed to fight, it quickly became the most talked about fight of 1988. Unlike the previous fight, Muhammad Ali actually thought Tyson would lose, as Spinks showcased excellent skill and speed. But man, was he wrong. Within seconds of the opening bell, Tyson landed a deadly left hook, causing Spinks to cover up. Then Tyson continued his attack, forcing Spinks onto the ropes. And at exactly 60 seconds into the fight, Spinks would be dropped for the first time in his career. And right after that, the fight would end as Tyson would drop Spinks down again in what would become one of the most embarrassing knockouts in history. Sorry, Mikey. Eight years later, after everyone forgot about that humiliating knockout, Tyson stepped into the ring to take on Evander Holyfield. The fight build as finally had everyone at the edge of their seats. And for good reason, Holyfield was in his prime and was quickly becoming a boxing icon, while Tyson on the other hand was slower and less focused than usual, taking on other interests. On the night, millions of people around the world tuned in and what ended up happening would shock everyone. Round one began with a fast attack from Tyson, but moments after that, the first surprise of the fight happened, Holyfield's insane strength as he pushed Tyson backwards. Tyson didn't like that, so he tried attacking Holyfield again. What most people didn't know was that due to Holyfield's superior strength, he actually never got hurt from Tyson's punches. As the fight went on, it was clear who was winning. However, in the fifth round, Tyson actually landed a brutal combination. But to the surprise of everyone, Holyfield stood unaffected. Round six had a headbutt which cut Tyson. And then, around 20 seconds later, Holyfield did it. He knocked down Tyson.
Every round after that was a win for Holyfield, as Tyson would throw wild punches, often missing. Holyfield was the better boxer, and he landed some deadly combinations too during the 10th and 11th round. And right at this moment, the referee had seen enough and ended the fight. Tyson had lost for the second time in his career. But it's not over there, as they went on to do a rematch in what became one of the most controversial fights in history, the Earbite fight. After agreeing to the rematch, Tyson was super excited, not for the fight itself, but moreover for the $30 million paycheck. At this point in his career, Tyson had made hundreds of millions of dollars, and he wasn't as driven as his younger self. But Holyfield, despite collecting a bigger paycheck, kept his focus and trained hard to beat Tyson a second time. He worked very hard and trained extremely hard. His determination and work ethic was superior to that of Tyson's. Then on June 28, 1997, he stepped into the ring, ready to put on a show. The match began with Holyfield dominating Tyson. Holyfield won the first three rounds. He's trying to push Mike back. Right there, when Mike goes to come in. At 32 seconds into the second round, Holyfield ducked under a right punch from Tyson. In doing so, he headbutted Tyson. The fight went on and everything seemed to be okay. Tyson started the next round with a furious attack on Holyfield. It seemed like a brutal attack. And as you can see, it just looked like a normal Tyson who was angry. But then, in a clinch, Tyson opens his mouth and bites Holyfield's ear. Holyfield starts jumping and is completely shocked. Nobody knows what happened. The referee looks confused. Millions around the world question what was wrong. But upon replay, everyone finds out. The world goes into shock. Nobody expected this. Despite this being illegal and hugely disrespectful, Tyson was allowed to continue fighting. And that was the biggest mistake ever. Because straight after when another clinch happened, a second bite occurred. But nobody found out until the match ended. When the referee discovered what happened, he instantly disqualified Tyson. Fans around the world were upset and angry as they never got the fight they paid for. And something similar occurred again five years later, when a well-out-of-shape Tyson fought Lennox the Lion Lewis. In the early 2000s, Lennox Lewis was a knockout artist. He was one of the best boxers at the time, and when he got the opportunity to take on Tyson, he instantly agreed. A lot of people criticized Lewis as many of his opponents were never seen as worthy. So when he could fight Tyson, it would finally show his power. In a press conference before the fight, things were tense as both fighters had massive egos. But Tyson wasn't able to control his anger as well. So when a brawl happened, Tyson went in and bit Lewis in the leg. This brought back many memories of what occurred with Holyfield and people were worried Tyson would do the same on the night. However, when the day came for their fight, Tyson didn't look so crazy and seemed more controlled, and it looked like he was going to be in a normal fight. Let's look at the highlights of each round. Round 1 made Tyson fans happy as he came out on top, brutally landing multiple punches and hurting Lewis. Round 2, Tyson started strong but ended up suffering multiple uppercuts from Lewis, causing him to stagger backward multiple times. Round 4 and 5 showed Tyson becoming a punching bag as Lewis proved superior and landed multiple effective blows. And Round 8 was full of surprises, as Tyson was finally knocked down, only to come back up and be knocked down again. And Lewis was declared the winner by KO. But if you want to see a better version of Tyson, then check out this video where we cover his top 10 most brutal knockouts. Click it.